Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this Ocean's Shawl, which is an absolutely gorgeous crochet shawl. Uh, it has uh, several stitches in it, which is why I've rated it as an intermediate pattern. Uh, but once you know how to work those stitches, then it's really quite simple. Now this is the shawl here. Uh, it's made up of some little puff stitches, double crochet stitches, uh, chain stitches. Uh, again, other than the puff, these are all fairly well-known stitches to make. It's worked in rows, it's worked lengthwise. Its final measurements are about 24 inches by 63 inches long. For the pattern today, uh, you're going to need about 1,600 yards of uh, a lightweight yarn. Now I am, or sport weight, I'm using this uh, gradient yarn by Panda Yarns. It is a five ply sport weight uh, and this one cake has 1600 yards. Now this yarn, as you can see here, it's not your typical yarn. It's made by holding uh, several strands together and uh, so it's not twisted. So it does take a little bit, if it's your first time using this yarn, a little bit to get used to it. But the colors, as you can see in this uh, green cake here, and as you can see in the photos here and on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. And because you can get them in this larger cake, uh, they uh, you only need one cake, about 1,600 yards per shawl. Uh, so this yarn, again, it's by Panda Yarns, and I have links to uh, the written pattern where you'll find more photos, as well as the yarn and my crochet hook I'm going to use today in the description of this video. So today, along with your 1600 yards of yarn, you're also going to need a 4 millimeter crochet hook. Again, the free written pattern is on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Our pattern today is worked in rows, and it's worked in rows lengthwise. So we're going to be working that longer edge first. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is start by making your slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain, and your foundation chain uh, will need to be 354 chain stitches. Uh, now I will give you a heads up. The first row is a row of double crochet stitches. So if you would like to do a foundation row of double crochet stitches, you can do that as well. Uh, you're going to need uh, a total of, let me see here, 351 double crochet stitches if you're starting with the foundation row. Otherwise, go ahead and uh, chain 354 chain stitches. Once you have worked your foundation chain, uh, if you haven't already, you're going to work for row one, a double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four. Work one double crochet into that fourth chain. And then into each chain all the way across. So double crochet into the fourth chain and again into each chain all the way across. For row two, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Next, for row two, you're going to begin by working a double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Your chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. So you're going to skip that stitch down at the base of your chain. And then in each of the next two stitches, work one double crochet stitch. Then chain one, 
skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across to your final uh, four stitches where you will end with a chain one, skip one, and then double crochet into each of the final three stitches. I'm here at the end of my row two. I have four stitches remaining. I've chained one. I'm now going to finish off this row by working a double crochet into each of the last three stitches. Remember that your chain one, or chain three, sorry, at the beginning of your round there was a stitch, so you do need to work into the top of that chain three. At the end of row two, for row three, you're going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and turn your work. For row th three, begin by working a single crochet into each of the first two stitches. Chain two, skip the next chain one space. So you're going to skip that double crochet, skip the chain one space, and then into the next double crochet, work one double crochet stitch, chain two, and a double crochet stitch. You can then chain two, skip the next chain one space and double crochet into the next chain one space, work a single crochet stitch. You're now going to repeat chain two, skip the next chain one space and into the next double crochet stitch, work a double crochet, chain two and double crochet chain two, skip the next chain one space and double crochet and into the next chain one space work a single crochet. Repeat that all the way across uh, to your final two stitches where you will work a single crochet in each of the final two stitches. At the end of row three, I've worked my uh, V stitch here into the double crochet, chain two, skip that next chain one space, skip the next double crochet into your final two stitches, work one single crochet stitch into each. Remembering that the chain three at the beginning was a stitch, so you need to work into the top of it. For row four, you're going to chain four. This counts as a triple stitch and turn your work. Next, work one triple stitch into the next single crochet stitch. You're now going to skip the next chain two space and into the next chain two space, so this is the center of your V stitch, you're going to work three puff stitches and two chain one stitches. So I'll show you how to work your puff stitch. You'll yarn over Insert your hook into that chain two space, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Repeat that one more time, yarn over, insert your hook into the chain two space, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So that's your puff stitch in this pattern. So you have one, you're then going to chain one and work another puff stitch all into that same chain two space. Chain one and work one more puff stitch into that chain two space. You're then going to skip the next 
chain two space, chain one, skip the next chain two space. So you have your chain two space, single crochet, chain two, you're going to skip that into your next chain two space, which is the center of your V stitch. You're going to repeat, work a puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch into the same space, chain one, puff stitch into the same space, chain one, skip the next chain two, the next single crochet, and the next chain two space, and repeat into the center of your V, puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch, chain one, and puff stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across uh, to your final two single crochet stitches, and you'll work a triple in each of those final two single crochets. At the end of row four, you've worked your final three puff stitches and chain one spaces. You're going to end off on your final puff stitch there. And you're then simply going to work two triples, one into each of the final two stitches. For row five, you can then chain one and turn your work. For row five, you're going to work a single crochet into each of the first two stitches. So into each of the tops of your triple stitches. Then chain one. Then skip the next puff stitch and into that chain one space work a single crochet and chain one into the next chain one space so skip that puff stitch single crochet and chain one you're going to repeat that all the way across into each chain one space work a single crochet chain one skip the next puff single crochet into the chain space and chain one. Repeat that all the way across to your final two uh, triple stitches and then work a single crochet into each of the tops of uh, those last two triple stitches. At the end of row five, chain one, single crochet into each of the tops of your triple stitches there. This one got a little tight. There we go. For row six, you can then chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. Next, double crochet into the next stitch, the next single crochet, and double crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, double crochet into the next chain one space. So you're skipping the single crochet into the next chain one space, double crochet. You're going to repeat that across chain one double crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, double crochet into the next chain one space, all the way across to your final two stitches, and then work one double crochet into each of those final two stitches. At the end of row six, you're going to work a final double crochet stitch in each of the final two stitches. And for row seven, you can chain one and turn your work.
Next, for row seven, work a single crochet into each of the first two stitches. Chain two, skip the next chain one space, and then into the next double crochet stitch, work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Chain 2, skip the next chain 1 space and the next double crochet and single crochet into the next chain 1 space. You're going to repeat that across, chain 2, skip the next chain 1 space and double crochet and into the next double crochet stitch, work a double crochet, chain 2 and double crochet chain two, skip the next chain one space and double crochet into the next chain one space, work a single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row seven, you've ended with a V stitch here, chain two, single crochet, so skip the next chain one space, the next double crochet, and then single crochet into each of your final two stitches. Now for the rest of the pattern, you are going to repeat your rows four through to seven uh, 15 more times. So you're going to have a total of 16 of these rows of puff stitches and you're going to end on the row that we just finished there with our V stitches. So go on back, repeat rows 4 through to 7 15 more times and then you're going to be ready to put a simple edging uh, on the end of your shawl. So you're going to finish on this row here and uh, the way I uh, kind of wear this shawl is actually we're working from the top down to the bottom. So this is actually going to be your bottom here. Uh, once you've worked the rows four to seven, 15 more times, you have your 16 rows of puff stitches and on this V stitch row, you can then chain one and turn your work. And you're going to work a simple edging just along this one row. That edging is going to be, you're going to single crochet into each of the first two stitches. Into the next chain two space, work two single crochets. Single crochet into your next double crochet stitch. And then you come to the center of your V. When you come to the center of your V, into this chain two space, single crochet, chain three, and single crochet back down into the same space. Single crochet into the next double crochet, into your next chain two space, work two single crochet stitches, and then single crochet into your single crochet stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. So single crochet, two single crochets into your chain two space, single crochet into your double crochet, then into the next chain two space, the center of your V, work a single crochet, chain three, and single crochet single crochet into your double crochet, two more single crochets into the chain two space, and a single crochet into your single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across. It's going to give you this pretty finished edge down here at the bottom. Once you come all the way across, you can fasten off, weave in your ends, and then block your shawl if desired and your beautiful oceans shawl will be complete. I'll just show you my edging here.
on my finished one. And that's all there is to working the Ocean's Shawl. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, while, I, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe. There are several other uh, gorgeous shawl patterns here on my channel that you may want to also check out. So until then, uh, next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.